How about the movie itself, The Last of the Mohicans? Um, how, do you, how do you think that did? In, in oh, uh, it was revolutionary. It showed Indian people at that time in history, around 1754, we were intermig- intermingling and integrating with Europeans, and that we were militarily and economically superior. We traded fashions, clothing fashions, and that the safest place for an American family was on the frontier. It dispelled that whole pioneer myth. Here I was in this cabin with this this settler, you know, we'd known one another for years, and with his family sharing at the table, breaking bread together, and that proves that the pioneers did not have to fear the savages. You know, no person in their right mind, think about this, no man would take his wife and children into a place of danger, period, ever. So the safest place in America was with the Indians. I love that. A couple more questions about the about the movies. Uh, in Pocahontas, since it's a Disney movie, is going to come back probably. Um, usually Disney brings movies back every six years or so. How, how does it feel to be part of something that is going to last a lifetime like that, that will be continually recycled and brought back and again and again? Well, you know, it's humbling. Because to be in The Last of the Mohicans, that's going to be a classic forever. I mean, people still coming up. I said, I, hey, I just saw you, because they got the video, you know? And everybody that's seen that movie loves it. And they wanted it to last longer. 20th Century Fox, what a bunch of nutheads they knocked out about 12 minutes. It, it is a humbling experience, and, and, and I know, I knew and I know about, you know, the animated, these are always going to be children watching. I think that's so beautiful. Pocahontas, the finest movie ever made about Indian people in the history of Hollywood up to now. When you were at Wounded Knee, that that, um, dragged on for 71 days. Um, Were there times that you were worried that you were never going to get out of there alive? Oh, from the first day. We didn't think we'd get out of there alive, period. That first morning, we we took it over at night on the 27th of February, 1973, and that next morning, we just all knew we were going to die there. But we had to make this statement. But we lived, and we carried on our work with other militant and revolutionary activities. What was the impact from that, uh, from that protest? Self-dignity and self-pride. That is the intangible that you can't measure. But it was a tremendous effect. And politically, it alerted the world to the fact that we were not all killed by John Wayne and that we were still resisting, struggling for self-determination. It ignited the Indian people in in the entire hemisphere. It was the spark that counted. A final question. How would you like people to remember you, uh, say, 100 years from now? As an American Indian patriot. Simple enough. Okay, thanks.